Teton National Park. I worked all day yesterday, which was Wednesday, and then right after work, I headed out and uh, drove 13 and a half hours to get here this morning at like six o'clock so I could hopefully get in line to get uh, backcountry permits at the ranger station at Jenny Lake, which when I went by, there were a lot of people already there, so I did not waste my time. So today, I think I'm just gonna do a couple day hikes, um, check out the visitor centers, get my passport stamp, um, I bought a new t-shirt that I think is pretty cute. Um, yeah, I think uh, I'm gonna go do a seven mile hike with a alternate loop around Moose Lake and Jenny Lake. Um, it was really busy this morning, so we'll see how many people are over there and then uh, judge it based off of that. And then maybe tomorrow morning I will try again for those backcountry permits. And if that fails, maybe I will go north to um, the Rockefeller Monument and uh, maybe Yellowstone. So we'll just see how the today goes. visitor center is just stupid busy. There are so many people there. The whole parking lot is full. People are just losing their minds. Um, so I decided to keep driving and came across the Signal Mountain Lodge and it says they have gifts and food and stuff and there's a little general store and there's hardly anybody in the parking lot. So maybe there's a reason for that but I think I'm gonna go check out the lake. I am gonna go maybe find a couple sodas and then maybe I'll keep heading north just to have a nice little drive. And then maybe I'll head back down to Jenny Lake later today and see if uh, maybe it's not so busy later. Um, yeah, that's kind of the plan. Just keep moving along, checking out Grand Teton National Park. <laughs> Signal Mountain Lodge has this really cute little general store. Um, they have coffee and some snacks and sandwiches and stuff, so I picked up a few things for lunch. But check out this. Old Faithful Root Beer. Come on, that's super cute. I had to get it.
what the trailhead looks like. Really no signs besides a uh, no camping, no fire sign. Other than that, there's the road that comes into it. Pretty nice, pretty quiet. Okay, so I started this hike at 8.30 and I'm only a few, uh, maybe 10, 15 minutes into this and it is gorgeous and there is nobody around. Check out these views. been quite the forest fire. But man, those views. Pretty nice water crossing they have here. Water looks so clear. I did bring my water filter with me, so I can filter water if I need more, but I think I'm pretty good right now. Always remember not to drink the water straight out of the river, even though it is clear. I know I've said this a million times, it feels like, but seriously, look at all those wildflowers. Park boundary. I wonder what's scratched off there. Gorgeous.
just ran into a ranger and a couple other hikers because there are reports of fresh bear skin. <sighs> Wonderful. So it's make a lot of noise, clap my hands. I'm gonna go down here, grab some water, maybe hike down to Webb Canyon. I don't even see that on my map, but it's only a mile. Or maybe I'll just come down here, get some water, and go back. I'm starting to get hungry. All right, this is where I'm gonna grab some water, filter it, of course, and I'm gonna take my boots off, maybe have some lunch, let my boat, my feet rest. I've done probably eight miles, I think. I don't know. I don't think I'm gonna cross and continue on. I think I'm gonna turn around from here, head back to the Jeep. I still gotta find a place to stay tonight. Site number two, the area. Camping first come, first serve. You can kind of see my Jeeps right there, right behind those little bushes. Totally free. No one around. Can't get any better than this. All right, dinner tonight. Beef pasta marinara. Ooh. Not the greatest meals. Not bad though. 